Hello, my name is Lewis Rowlands and I'm a nutritional balancing practitioner and in this video I'm going to talk about copper and the brain. Now, not many people understand this or realise it and it's really, really important to understand when you're doing a nutritional balancing program and you're trying to balance out copper. Now, I was having a conversation with a client a few days back and I mentioned this to the client and they replied to me saying that they just thought that they could do the other parts of the program for them to balance out copper. And I was like, no, this is a little secret to balancing out copper and it's going to make you do the pushing down exercise even more. And basically what it is, is that copper tends to accumulate in the brain. Now, it's a stimulant. It excites the brain and one really, really important thing to realise is that the brain uses copper in order to enhance the thinking uh, of the brain. It, it, it uses cop copper to um, allow the brain to keep up a high speed in someone who naturally overthinks. So unlike mercury or arsenic or these other toxic metals where the body literally has no use for them, Copper is actually a very, very important um, element for the body. Very, very important. It's used in so many different things. And a lot of people think that, you know, copper's the enemy and, you know, we need to get rid of copper. And it's like, no, it's not the case. We don't want to get rid of copper. We want to balance copper out. And one of the uses that copper has is to keep a brain active, to keep the mind thinking. So... What does this mean? Well, it means that um, there's an intercorrelation between thinking and copper. And one of the ways of balancing out copper is to learn how to not think or to learn how to meditate. So one really important way of, of balancing out copper is doing the pushing down exercise. Because what happens when you start to slow down the mind by doing some sort of meditation like the pushing down exercise... What that does is the body says all of a sudden, okay, my mind's slowing down. I no longer need this copper to keep the mind active. So it actually detoxifies copper. It's a really amazing thing. You know, I've been in, I've been in, in meditation and I can feel actually copper coming out my brain and I'll, and I'll go through a copper reaction because I've meditated. Um, and it's a little, it's a little, bit of knowledge that actually makes people start meditating more or makes people want to meditate more because you can't just do the diet really or the coffee enemas or the saunas and, and, and balance out copper fully you've really got to understand that the brain will use copper to keep itself active so if you're in like sympathetic dominance or your potassium's at you know four three two or one you tend to be a person that overthinks too much and that copper is going to really struggle to come out of the system unless you start to meditate more and start to calm down the mind um, and allow that process to happen. So that's all I really wanted to say. I didn't want to go into this too much and make this a long-winded uh, video. But it's just for the people out there that overthink, for the people out there that are in sympathetic dominance, and just for the people that don't understand this, it's really, really important to learn to calm down and learn to slow down the thinking through the pushing down exercise because that's one major player in detoxifying copper, in balancing out copper um, and actually retaining zinc. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. If you do want to start a nutritional balancing program with me, just email lewis, L-E-W-I-S, at deephealingspace.com. Apart from that, please subscribe and tune in next time. All right, cheers. Ciao.